Sorry, my name is Tom. Your story has really made a difference. You might not know it here in your home in Canada, but you've made a big difference. Um, and I want to say thank you. And of course, um, I want to say, Osh, big sorry for everything your family has endured. I, I'm right in saying that um, that Street Child helped you start a, a business last year. Is that right? So yeah, she contracted the virus and so when she was discharged, all the resources she had was used for food in the home. We will come again. We will give you the, the grant to enable you to start the business. Um, would you like to wait until the quarantine is finished and Ebola is 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 done done, is, is complete in, in Kenema um, to start the business or would you like the support now so you can make a start immediately? I want to talk to Kiana, she would want to start mm -hmm. as early as now before Ebola ends. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sit up on her tea. She doesn't want to sit. So the business will not be as profitable as before whilst the quarantine is going on, but it will still be possible to run the business and to make a profit even though it won't be quite so big. Is, is that right? It's my view because there are people doing businesses of that nature. Yeah. The, 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 the challenge is accessing the resources to start, no matter how small. Yeah. And in fact, what's happening now, because the, the inflow of goods into Kenema is limited, if you are able to lay hands on some, you can sell effectively. Because the competition is not keen as it used to be when everybody will do the same. Yeah. So you are really advocating for us to fast track the business support to these families because actually there are opportunities now. Yeah. And that's, that's what I'm really advocating. That if we have to help them, then we should help them now before schools reopen so that people like Bintu and others can go back to school. She wants to go to school. She wants to go back to school when the one school should open, but she's worried that her aunt hasn't got the resources. Tell her not to worry. This now you paddy her and then Tom he said, let you not worry. Who who else are you looking after? Um, can you introduce the family to me and tell me their name and how old they are and if they are in school in which year? They are in school. They lay. They have uh, Fatuma Sano, Hassan Sano, Momo Sano, uh, Alia Sano. Nya po di voe. Nya po di four years me na. Four years. Yes, he has boss. And a cafe le disia. Yes, he he ten years. Yes, six years. And, and which class or form in school? This is a class six, eh? Mm. Class four. Class four. This is the class four. Four. They are all two in class four, then. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's really understood. Um, Georgia, I think the situation is, is simple. So this family have been through um, a terrible trauma. They're, yeah. they're being ravaged by Ebola. They face stigma in their home. They've had to relocate to, to, to this, this area place. here. Yeah. But here they are stable. Here they have a roof over their heads. They're not facing stigma. But the lady is not in business. No. And so what remains is to empower the lady to recommence her business life so she can financially support the children for food, for clothes, and in particular for school fees when school reopens. Yeah. Is there anything more to the situation than that, or is it that simple at this stage? I think it's that simple at this stage. It's that simple. Yeah. Well, look, George, um, I make the promises. It's your job to keep them. Yeah. Let me say that we, by the end of next week, we have empowered Auntie to recommence her business. Yeah, I'll get that to the boss immediately. Generally, I must say hundreds of families have been affected indirectly by Ebola, even though they did not contract the virus, but as a result of limited movements in and out of Kenema, even those who are involved in some form of business, no matter how small, majority are now seated doing nothing because they don't have the resources to start. Because the problem is things have become very expensive. Only few people can afford to bring in goods now. So only those who can afford to buy those goods are more expensive than before can be engaged in business. To me, it seems really clear. Ebola, God willing, is coming to an end in Kenema. 
people are getting over the, the shock of what happened, but on quite a scale, particularly poor families and those hit by the virus, need support to rebuild their lives. And they don't want to wait. They need that support now. Or else more tragedy is at hand. Yeah. The sizes, the sizes are too small for them. They should be too. It would not fit a small. Except, except we gave Richard one that will be fit for for being to like go and find, go um, and find the small medium yeah, size. Pink one. Uh -huh. Pink, Pink two is the star. I've never written the front page of any newspaper at all. Yeah. <laughs>